News at 530. We break away from our ABC News coverage as we follow that historic event. The former president, Donald Trump, convicted on all counts. Also tonight, an FDA warning about fake Botox and people undergoing potentially dangerous procedures. And the new resources available for veterans in need of help right here in our community. We continue to follow that breaking news. Donald Trump found guilty on all counts. The first former president to ever be convicted of criminal charges. Jurors reading that verdict just a short time ago in Manhattan, convicting the former president on all 34 criminal charges against him. He's been found guilty of falsifying business records in the hush money trial. Trump denied those hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. He also says he never had an encounter with her. Uh, he can continue to run for president despite this conviction. Trump has spoken with reporters outside of the courtroom after that verdict was read, calling it a rigged trial, maintaining his innocence. He claims the case was conducted by the Biden administration, saying, quote, our country has gone to hell. Again, former President Donald Trump, now a convicted felon, sentencing set for July 11th. We will continue to follow this throughout the night on air and online. More also ahead on ABC World News with David Muir at 630. Also tonight, the FDA is warning about counterfeit Botox found in nearly two dozen states, including here in New York. 13 Webb's Jackie Napier spoke with URMC's Director of Cosmetics and Lasers about the potentially life-threatening side effects of those fake products. Jackie, good evening. Good evening, Matt. Over the course of four months, 15 people from nine states, including New York, have reported adverse reactions to counterfeit Botox products, according to the CDC. The majority of those people needed to be hospitalized. With Botox parties on the rise, Dr. Mara Weinstein Velez urges people to do their research, especially in light of a new federal warning. So it is actually terrifying. The FDA has issued a warning that counterfeit vials of Botox are being made and distributed. In a lot of cases, these are social settings. So they're parties, it's fun, there's alcohol um, and people being injected. And so that is a way to sort of lure in clientele and also make an event of it. Um, Honestly, injecting your face shouldn't be a, a party. It should be a very serious uh, medical procedure done under appropriate super supervision. Counterfeit products and unlicensed injectors can cause serious harm, according to Weinstein Velez. Botulism is an actual uh, medical condition that causes severe paralysis of your muscles. And so what that looks like is difficulty breathing, um, incontinence in some cases, difficulty holding your head up, difficulty uh, with vision, blurry vision, difficulty speaking. And that's why many of these patients who received counterfeit Botox are being hospitalized. The FDA has shared photos of fake Botox, which consumers can use to better protect themselves. And take a photo of the box um, where the vial of Botox is stored. Have that on your phone. When you go to get these injections, you can ask to compare that box to the box that the provider is using to make sure that it is not counterfeit. Dr. Weinstein Velez says consumers can search for licensed professionals on the Botox Cosmetics website. For a link and more on my conversation with her, go to 13wham.com. Matt.